Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy PWZY, also known as PZ, and that is my favorite intro. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about that intro? Let me know if you like that intro. Yeah. Intro of darkness, the whiteness, the redness. I did that wrong, but it's okay. Anyways, guys, I'm bringing another Forza 4 gameplay video. That is right, and I'm extremely hyped right now. And yes, I'm making myself sound crazy, but that is okay because maybe, just maybe, you guys will like this video. I'm just kidding, guys. What is up? It's your boy PZ here with the GoTo Gamers. And that was one of my crazy intros. And, um, yeah, just a little thing. If you're going to play Forza, do not run into your opponents. This is not Mario Kart, ladies and gentlemen. It is a real racing simulator. Okay? <clears throat> I can't tell you <laughs> how mad that makes me when I'm playing Forza and someone will just randomly come at you. Just bump me from behind. That's just one of my pet peeves in this game. And, I mean, I get over it, but I just hate when that happens. Anyways, guys, I'm racing. Um... My Pugat, my custom Pugat, uh, if you moved over your profile from Forza 3, you were able to get this car. And I took the restrictor plate off, so it makes it an X999 car. So, I mean, it's one of the best cars in the game. I think you could probably find a better one, but, I mean, in terms of my racing style and the way I like to play, this, this car just suits me. Just suits me like no other. And it's really not nice outside today. That is disappointing. I thought it was going to be nice. Yesterday it was just perfect and say it's just like nothing. Also, if you're going to join a multiplayer game, please play. And if you're not going to play, don't sit on the track. Even though you're invisible, it still messes with the other racers. They think, oh, someone's sitting on the track and they're going to run them over. I mean, hit them and then screw themselves over. A lot of people just join into a game and sit there to get the, to get the, the credits. And you're not getting that many credits. I don't know why you join. I mean, there's so many other ways you can get credits in this game that are easier than just sitting there and not doing anything. But that is besides the point. I've kind of checked out here, guys. Um, I was lucky enough to pick up first. Well, I, didn't, I wouldn't say checked out, but I mean, I was lucky enough to pick up first um, within the first few laps. And basically, I just am keeping first and running away with it. Now, I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks when playing this game. Um, and maybe a few word lingos that you guys don't know that's associated with racing games. But this is just what I use. Um, it's what I've heard other people use and all that kind of stuff. So here's what we're going to talk about first. We're going to talk about braking in Forza 4. Now, I know a lot of people have this problem that when they're coming into a turn, and I race with the line down right now because I'm still trying to get used to the cars and the... And the um, the tracks on because even some of the tracks are from fours to three they feel different the cars drive different all that kind of stuff so i'm gonna give you a few tips now i've heard a lot of people say this i've heard um they're talking about you know when they go into a turn and it shows red that they that they're stepping on the brakes but they're losing traction so here's what i'm gonna tell you is when you're going into a turn in fours of four what you do is you do not push the left trigger all the way down on the xbox controller that locks up your brakes and you lose traction what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to feather the braking like i'm doing right there and then you'll still uh, still keep your traction on the track but you'll slow down perfect enough to where you can make a turn so once again you're gonna wanna not just slam down on the trigger when you slam down on the trigger your tires lock up even if you have uh, anti-lock brake system on or whatever I forgot what it, anti braking system or whatever it's called it's still gonna lock up your brakes I mean your tires and you're just gonna slide right off the track you're gonna lose traction you're gonna you know drift all that kinda stuff so you're just gonna wanna feather your braking now, with that said, when you're using the line, you don't want to wait till last minute towards bright red. You're going to want to start feathering your brakes before. When you start seeing that line, start tapping on your brakes. That's going to slow you down enough to where you won't have to lose all your speed. You can carry your momentum through the turn. Now, we're coming into the last lap. I don't have, I mean, there's two more laps. I don't have much more to explain, so I'm not too worried about it. If you guys want more of these kind of informative videos, let me know, and I'll give you more tips and tricks and all that kind of good jazz. But I wanted to get another video for you guys, so here it is, another four is a four. You guys liked the last one, I think, so... Uh, here it is again. I mean, there's not too many people commentating these videos, so I figured I could step into that spot, that role. So we have less than a week for um, Battlefield 3 to come out, and um, I'm totally stoked. I'm going to be going to the midnight release as long as I'm not working that night, which I don't think I will be. I mean, I'm new, so I don't know if they're going to have me work midnight releases. I mean, I'm cool if they do, but at the same time, I hope they don't because I'd like to come home and play for a little bit 
because just like today, it's going to be on a Tuesday, and on Tuesdays, I don't have school until the afternoon, so I'd be able to stay up late playing it and all that kind of good jazz. So right here, when I just came out of that turn, which you're going to hear me say a lot and other people say, is called checking out. Now, what checking out is is you're you know you're ahead of the the team or maybe you're not that far ahead of them but then you're gonna come around a turn and you're gonna hit a straightaway and you're just gonna fly and you're gonna see your your feet in front of the next person behind you just increase and whenever I do that I always say oh I'm checking out so if I ever do that just let, just know that that means I'm taking off because you've gotten on the straightaway first before they did they're maybe still in a technical section still in a turn section you're on a straight they obviously will not be able to catch you because by the time your speed is all the way up, you're going. By the time it takes them to get their speed up, you're basically done with that straightaway. So I just call that checking out. It's a term carried over from um, from dirt biking, from Supercross and all that kind of stuff. NAS, I don't even think they use the NASCAR. I just know they use it a lot in dirt bike racing like Supercross and Motocross and all that kind of stuff. So that's where I've carried it over from. Um, but that's a different story. Anyways, I'm really liking Forza. We played a lot. Forza is one of those games where it's not like Modern Warfare where you, you know, you have to play it when it comes out, when everyone's on. Well, you know, Modern Warfare, not Modern Warfare, Call of Duty in general. I mean, you can still go on and jump on and play them. The thing is, is, you play it so much you get tired of it. Forza, you know, they're not released every year. They're released every few years. So this Forza game right here, even if you don't play it, um, you know, consistently at the beginning, you're going to have it for a good few years before the next one comes out. So you'll be able to, you know, get your money's worth out of it. So that's why I don't mind buying, like, Forza games and stuff like that because I know I'm gonna have it for a few years and if I play this for a few months and then play Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 3 and Battlefield 3 for six months never get back on this game after that six months when I'm bored I can always get back on this game and it'll still be there it'll still be people playing it and um, it's just gonna be a good experience anyways guys like I said I took first in the beginning um, I raced first all five laps I give you a few tips in this video I told you Battlefield 3 comes out and on the midnight release as long as I'm not working um, I want to thank you guys. You know, we've gotten over 400 subscribers, and uh, we're still gaining subscribers daily. And, you know, we really appreciate that. We appreciate you guys' support. If you guys have any questions, you know, put them in the comments, and I'll answer them next video. Anyways, guys, it's been PZ with the GoTo Gamers. I want to thank you all for watching. If you stuck with me this long, I really appreciate if you like, leave a like and a comment. Once again, this has been PZ. I want to thank you all for watching. Talk to you guys later. Peace.